Hey there! Welcome to another amazing build and welcome to my grandfather's old workshop. This is where he used to do do-it-yourself projects in the weekends and I would like to use his workshop for fun project. Turning this old worn-out axe that I bought for 10 euros on eBay into something very special. There will be sparks, 3D printing and of course lasers. Because as we all know, anything is better with lasers. But before going into the build, come follow me around and let me show you the place. Pretty nice, right? Uh, everything is a bit old, everything is a bit dusty, but it's gonna be great fun. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start working on the X set. The first thing to do, removing the old wooden handle. Next step, roughly marking the part of the axe head that will be cut out. Let's get to work with the angle grinder. Next, scrubbing off the old paint. And grinding down any rough edges. It's starting to look good. Getting to work with the metal file. Time to start the polish with 200 grit sandpaper on the angle grinder. Using the Dremel for the details.
That took way longer than I planned for. But with any good project, that's just what it is. They always take longer than what you think they will. Anyways, let me show you the final result. I just washed off all the polish, all the residue. And it's super shiny. All the old paint job is gone. We cut out quite a decent amount of metal to make it look very nice, I think. But what is missing? You're right, the X handle. And for this, I planned something very special. And if you remember from the beginning, I promised you lasers. So let's jump to a good friend's place and get started on the handle. First step, scanning the handle as preparation for the engraving process. Positioning the logo for the engraving. And off we go. And now the other side. The same procedure. And that easily, we are done. And we are back. There you have it, in all its beautiful glory. I am so happy how it looks like. It turned out great. I'm super excited to see what it will look like once it is attached to the X set. So let's get working again and finish this project. Inserting the new handle into the X set. And locking it in place. As a last step, coating the wood with bee wax. Woo! I am done! Figuratively and literally. I mean, look at it. This is what we have been working on all day. It is looking amazing. The wax really brought out the colors of the wood. The laser engraving very subtle but visible and the shiny polished and modified accent. I couldn't be happier but there's one promise which I didn't fulfill yet and that is 3D printing. So what do I want to 3D print? My idea is to 3D print a proper axe sheath to be able to store my axe at my belt when working in the garden, in the woods, wherever I may need this axe. Therefore, one final jump to my office for some 3D printing and then this project is completed for sure. Marking of the axe dimensions on a piece of paper allows me to easily take measurements. And transfer them to Fusion 360 sketch. Based on the sketch, I can start the designing process.
And there you have it. The 3D designed X sheath. And then preparing the model for 3D printing in the slicer. Putting in all the right settings. Checking the slice print. And sending it to the printer for the print. What a journey it has been! Working at my grandfather's old workshop, using the laser cutter at a friend's place, and finally designing and 3D printing the X sheath in my office. It took me two test prints and fine tuning. But I got the X sheath fitting just right. The X can be easily slid in and out of the X sheath while still being held tight enough. And with a belt loop, the X can be comfortably attached to your work belt. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. And I would really appreciate your feedback and thoughts in the comments. As always, you can find the link to the print file in the description. That's it for now, folks. I see you in the next one. Until then, bye.